Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to talk about the real. And I mean real depression that comes along with CPSD due to being narcissistically abused. Here's the facts. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Everyone needs love. Everyone. The fact is we are hardwired as people to have the need to be social. To have a friend to talk to. And to have a helper in our life. This is why God made woman. Because he didn't want man to be alone. And sadly because of this weird world we live in. We have both men and women screwed all up due to being raised by narcissists. And then running into narcissists. One after another through their adult years. And those normal unhappy feelings of when you're down about work. Or your finances. You can usually fill those negative feelings with the love of your family. Your friends. Or your spouse has for you. But when there are a limited amount of people there to give you this much needed balance. You are always a hair trigger away from relapsing into depression. Even if you have children. Because children need your love. They need your guidance. You should never put that responsibility onto your children for your adult problems. So many of us walk around pretending. Just like the song says. Oh yes. I'm the great pretender. You know the song. About someone laughing and smiling with those they work with. And those that they may pass by. But deep down inside they are in pain. And how long can someone hold it all together? You know I did a video about how to catch yourself. To have a bug out bag of videos to watch. And things to do. And yes. Many times it works or at least helps. But sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you just crash hard. The things that were done to us were horrible. The way our emotions were twisted and love was used was terrible. We were mentally and emotionally tortured for years. Yes the word torture applies here. The people that were supposed to care for us. Used us. Mistreated us. And let us know. We could never rely on them for anything. Let alone for them to tell us the truth. What I want to say to you if you're going through such a situation. Is it's normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Crashing is going to happen. I'm just glad you're here. Listening to me or someone else. Because though we might not be able to take the pain away. It might allow you to hang on. And make it out the other end. So you can regroup and try again. I know I get these moments and I hate them. It's an empty feeling when you know most interactions with those that were supposed to have loved you were totally fake. It makes you think. What the heck. I have no good memories to look back on. I have no one that understands that I can say. Hey. You know that stuff that happened to me in my life before. I'm having a bad weekend or week. I don't know what it is. But I'm crashing. And this person can understand where you're coming from. And give you a legit hug. And let you know they care about your well-being. The sad fact is though there are some good people out there. It's a cold dog eat dog world. And most of the good people are trying hard to not be taken advantage of by the next predator out there. And it becomes so hard for good people that have been through some mess to find each other and be able to lean on one another. Now that being said. There are some in the community that have found fellow survivors and were able to build relationships with one another. And that's encouraging. Because to be honest with you. A legit survivor from narcissist abuse that is on a good track to self-betterment. That meets someone with the same life struggles and is on the same path are going to be the best fit for each other. Because these depression days are rough and only they can understand. They can be a support system to help pick you up. Just like you can help pick them up. They will know at first glance exactly what you're going through and how to handle it. You know the reason why love bombing works so good? Because it's the very thing that takes our pain away. Think back. When you were being love bombed you probably didn't have one day of depression. Because you felt like someone loved you. And someone understood you. And someone cared about you. 
And that was all you needed. That was all you needed. And this is why when this depression hits. Sometimes us victims are willing to latch on to someone we know is bad for us. Just to take the pain away. Here's what I'm going to say to you. These days are going to come. But please. Please do me a favor. Try to have a schedule you can follow. And what I mean by that is. In this schedule. Try to have fun activities planned. Where there are other people involved or places where you can meet new people. Such as a class for a hobby you love. And even if you're depressed force yourself to go. And just go through the motions. Because the depression will be there. And will have to run its course. But even if you're able to talk to someone about basic stuff. The weather. Or whatever else is going on. You might be able to stimulate that part in your brain that will prevent you from going deeper and deeper into your depression. This is the reason why I don't follow any complete way of thinking when it comes to dating. Except I'm very careful and have what I believe are good boundaries. And this is not anything negative to those that believe in monk lifestyles. But it's just not for me. I realized a long time ago that human interaction is very important. I should say. Healthy human interaction. There's nothing like a good man and good woman spending time together. They complement each other. And when it's not there. All of the things rush up in you that might have happened to you as a child. Or your past relationships. Things you try not to think about. It happens. Because you don't have your mom calling you with sincere love. Because your mother is a narcissist. Or father depending on your situation. You don't have siblings you can talk to because they were all turned against you by your narcissist parent. And every time you go on a date with someone they are either a narcissist. Or recovering from narcissistic abuse. But they are still in the matrix not ready to be pulled out. And dealing with such a person can sometimes be as dangerous as dealing with a narcissist sad to say. You can only hold it together so long. And you just wish someone would call and legitimately ask how you're doing. And care about your well-being. And knowing you don't have that can get to you no matter how much you smile and put up a front. And that's what leads to depression. That's why I say. At least for myself. Have good boundaries. Do your best to take a step back and look at others' behaviors and intentions towards you. And be safe. If safe to you means not signing a government document for your relationship. Then don't. But know if you've been narcissistically abused. And you're going through these feelings. And depression states. It usually has to do with lack of love from normal relationships. And that's why I say. Give yourself a fair shot at life and relationships. Have boundaries. Be safe. But be out there. God put another person on this earth that's to be your helper. He wants good for you. And when he sees you're depressed and hurting. Because of something your parents did to you. Or someone else did to you. It hurts God too. And he knows how upside down this world is. You just have to hang on. Seek refuge in him and he will provide you what you need. He will provide you what you need. And know you're not weird or there's something wrong with you because you're down. No matter what you try to do to bring yourself back up. It's a byproduct of your abuse. Recognize it for what it is. Understand it. And know it's not your fault. And it will pass. And soon enough. You will feel bright-eyed and ready to go. Know this. Please know this. I have these things happen to me too. And it's terrible. But I won't give up. So please don't you give up. Please share this video with all that you know and all that you think will benefit from it. You don't know. There might be someone out there that's on a gaming channel that's hiding pain in their life. Or someone on a wood carving channel that might have gone through this that's needing understanding and help. So you don't know. Sharing this information could literally save someone's life. Because like I always say. Knowledge and wisdom is power. The more we know. The more we can lead happy and healthy lives.
Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.